Do you know how to make big problems smaller? We're going to talk about that. No, we're not. We're changing our mind. If you go into the podcast more uh, in the middle, then you'll hear caring about classmates and community. That's right. Teacher Angela out. <laughs> That's right. We changed our mind in the middle of the episode. So we zigged, then we zagged. So next week, we're going to talk about how to make big problems smaller. And this week, we're going to talk about how to care for your classmates and community. On this episode of Five, Five Minutes, Minutes with, with Dad. Dad. Now back to the show. Welcome to Five Minutes with Dad, starring Pavlos and Angela Pavlidis, where you get to spend a few minutes with the smartest and coolest kids in the whole world, and their dad too. And now, here are your hosts, Pavlos, Angela, and Nick Pavlidis. Who oh, hey! But what am I, a wrinkled grape? What? Am I? Am I a wrinkled grape? Oh, no. All right. So, did you miss us? No? <laughs> we did not record a show for the first time in a long time last week. I was not feeling too hot last week. Just had a little quick buzz, a little quick uh, cold and got over it real, real fast. But we decided instead of recording a little late and producing it on Wednesday or Thursday, we would just hop back on the wagon this week. We tried week. to do it last week, but then we kept forgetting or it was too late already. Yeah, it was bedtime and bedtime is super important, especially for who, Ange? You. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who? Raise your hand if you're the first person to fall asleep in the house every night. Guess who's raising his hand? <laughs> yes, I love early to bed. Early to, to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, and wise. Right, Ange? Yeah! Round of applause for early to bed, early to rise. Yay! All right, so we have, we're back. We're back. And, and, oh my goodness, I almost forgot. Hey, oh, I almost forgot. I forgot what that one sounded like. <laughs> um, I almost forgot, Ange, before we get into the episode and the jokes and the resources. And the. And the. Who's ready for the resource of the week? And the. <laughs> We have, I don't know, we have, and we have a, oh, where was it? Where in the world, where in the world was I looking last week? It, I think it was an email, an email. So while I look that up, let's get into it. Let's see here. Five minutes with Dad. Dad. Let's see if this is where I find it. Let's see here. Podkite. Yes. So we had in other countries, we had three more. I think. Three. I think it's two. Well, let's see. Let's see where we can. I don't know if it tells us which country the reviews came in, but we had a few people leave us a. Re a review and we want to give you a thank you very much and a shout out so we have here we go in canada how cool is that so in canada 11 days ago so power so power s-o-p-a-u-r gave Ange five stars and said i highly recommend this how cool is that Ange? Cool. Thanks, Sopar. Really glad you're enjoying it. And oh my goodness, from the opposite side of the world, from where we are, Australia, we have Lucia. Lucia gave five stars to Five Minutes with Dad and said, my name is called Lucia. Well, hey, Lucia, thanks for listening to us. That's awesome. And we have a second Oh, that's what Lucia did. A month ago, Lucia 
gave us a review and her username is I love five minutes with dad and uh, or his or her Lucia I think that's a girl's name it's a beautiful name isn't it mm-hmm. um, Lucia is a beautiful name Ooh, it's well let's see here let's see here yes the let's see what Lucia means it's a girl's name meaning let's see let's see let's see let's see does it tell us what it means here pretty cool it doesn't tell us what it means, but what a beautiful name. Well, thanks for checking in, Lucia. She originally put in a review that said, keep on podcasting with five stars. And then she gave us an updated review that says, my name is called Lucia, and I'm glad you did, Lucia, so we could give you a big time shout out. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then three months ago, we gave a shout out to Isabella. You know, what's interesting is we... Here's another one. So power seven months ago. I don't like it. I love it. JK. Ha ha. Got you. <laughs> yes, you did. When you said I don't like it. That's so cool because we don't always get to see the reviews from outside of the United States. But now I get a service that sends them to us. So that way we can make sure we see it. And how about this one? Seven months ago from South Africa. <sighs> How cool is that? I love your podcast. It is the best. Can you talk about an episode about dreams are scary dreams and cool dreams and fun dreams that's so cool all right maybe we will do an episode on dreams well i just think it's so cool that we have people listening and having fun with us all around the world we're so happy to be getting to know you so if you leave us a review we will be able to check it out and give you a cool little shout out here too. And we will be thinking this. Thank you for listening. Oh, wait. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Oh, if you do it really quickly, it'll stop the for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So let's dig in. Let's dig, 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 dig in. What time is it, Ange? What time is it? What time is it? It is time. We got a very important episode. And now it's time for the Roosters of the Week. Say it And who is Me. Pablos is? Pablos is going to join us soon. Me. Not today, but on an episode coming up, Pablos is going to join us. And go ahead, yeah. Angie. Yeah. I was thinking for a second I was going to do eat this. Chips. Yeah. Gonna eat, eat chips. chips. Yeah. going to eat chips. Pablos is going to eat chips. All right. So <laughs> really, really important. Let's chit chat about what we are going to discuss. Ange, do you want to do the knock-knock joke of the week, or do you want to do the other joke of the week? Didn't we just do these jokes of the week last week? I don't think so. Did we? Yeah. Okay, so do these ones. (laughs) Okay. I'll do the knock-knock. Okay. So I'll do this one. What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? I don't know. Frostbite. Get it? Because vampires bite. Get it? Get it, Ange? Ange, get it? That's easier to do. Oh, Ange did her own rim shot. There we go. hey All right. Ange. <laughs> Ange, Ange, Ange. Okay, Ange, let's give us a knock-knock joke. Oh, wait. Wait. We forgot the resource of the... Bubbles ready for the resource of the week. I yes. was, was Bobbles was going. He's gone. Ba, the, ba, re- ba, 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 ba. the resource of the week is... So this is an, a resource for the parents. Who's ready for the resource of the week? Parents are ready for the resource of the week. So I met a new friend of mine. His name is Ryan. And Ryan and his wife record a parenting podcast, kind of like Five Minutes with Dad, except it's not with kids like Five Minutes with Dad is with kids. So Ryan and his wife, Laura Dobson, they started a podcast a long time ago called Rebel Parenting, and they just started it back up again in February. They recorded a bunch in 2020. They recorded a bunch before that. They have almost 400 episodes of their podcast, Rebel Parenting. So we want to give them a shout out and let the parents know to check out rebelparenting.org if they want to 
expand their podcasting horizons. So that is our resource of the week. Now, Ange, you can go to rebelparenting.org, right? Ange, you ready for the joke of the week part two? Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. All right, Ange, give it to me. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? A herd. A herd who? I heard you were home. Can you let me in? Hey oh! Did you get it? Get it? Knock, I heard. Knock. Oh, I get it. Knock knock. Knock knock. And then the person says, "Who's there? Like who's out there?" And then someone said, "I heard you were home. Can you let me in?" Can you let me in? That yes. That one actually all goes together. Even the who's there and the knock knock is. It's it's like a well like oiled machine. Let's do it. Who's there? Um, I heard. I heard who. I heard you were in. I mean, you were home. Can you let me in? Yay! So it kind of goes like that. Yep. All right. Let's dig into the topic of the week, and that is how to make big problems smaller. Smaller. Now, this one, I'm going to rely on Ange to teach. Why? Not because I don't have practice making big problems smaller. I've been doing that for a long, long time. That's my goal, right? But Ange ha- learns a lot about making big problems smaller in her school. But before we do, I want to give Ange a big shout out. We've been talking for the last several episodes about what kind of stickers, Ange? High five stickers. Yes. And how many high five stickers get given out uh, how, each year to each person? Usually, Maybe there's a lot of people in the school, so maybe 100 or 200. Okay. Because and- there's like... like- there's like 500 Sixth kids grade. in schools, right? Six grades. Yeah, so there's probably like seven, eight hundred kids. First, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Yeah, so they no, no, f- oh yeah, fifth. So they're not just giving out high five stickers to everybody every day, right? You really yeah. got to earn it, right? Yeah, got to go above and beyond. Mm-hmm. Okay, now Angela, tell me a story. Who earned a high five sticker last week? <laughs> Who? Me. Yes. And my friend. You and your friend, yes. Yeah, so no names except for your name, because obviously everyone knows your name. Um, so did you and your friend earn a high five sticker um, at the same time? Not at the same time, but the same day. Same day. And did you earn it for doing the same thing, or did your friend? Is your friend thing. okay? My friend. Your um, friend, girl or boy? Girl. Okay. What did she do to earn a high five sticker? She um, she remembered to bring everything in on this on um, Monday. And remember to turn everything in. Oh, was she struggling with that? No. So but everybody um, always forgets to turn their stuff in. But we always do the work. We just forget to turn it in. Uh-oh. But she turned everything in. Oh, so she w- was she the only one who turned everything in that time? Yeah. But everybody does their work. Yeah. But it, it's challenging this year. We were just talking. As we're recording this, we're recording this on March 14th. Of 2021. And the clocks are set ahead. Yes. This is a 23-hour day (laughs) because we move the clocks ahead today. And the sun shines later into the evening because we move. The sun's not doing anything different. We just move the clocks ahead for an hour, right? Mm -hmm. And this time last year, we were pulling into Nanny's house in Florida. As we're recording. exact same day. He's not. Well, just an hour ago last year. Yeah. And also yesterday, I was not sleeping in my bed this year or nor last. Yeah. Angela hasn't slept in her bed on March 13th Throughout since at night. least two, three years. In 2021, she slept at Yaya's house. Mm-hmm. In 2020, she slept in a hotel on the way to Nanny's house. Mm-hmm. In 2019, who knows? Maybe you slept at Yaya's house too if it was a Saturday, right? We can see. It's been a long time since Angela slept in her bed on a March 13th. So, yes. So, we packed up right before all of the um, all of the news hit and everything like that. We drove down to Florida to help Nanny out. We were supposed to go for one month. I mean, one week, but... We stayed three months. <laughs> yes. And we rekindled the podcast while we were down there, right? Yep, we still did it. Yep. 
And and that and before then we forgot to record for like a month or two. Yeah. So well, then you, we finally remember. And we've been going strong ever since. We took last week off just because I wasn't feeling too hot. But now we're back and we're rocking and rolling. And we're ready to And we're ready over two hundred episodes in and we're ready to rock. So Angela's friend. So Angela's friend was an outlier in school, which means she did something that not that everyone else forgot to do. Right? Mm -hmm. So they gave her a high five sticker. Now, if three people handed stuff in, they probably wouldn't have given anyone a sticker. But because she did something that everyone else didn't end up doing, she was rewarded. No, she rewarded always before. remembers to do it. Oh, and she got it because she, she's on a streak, huh? Mm hmm. Yes. All and right. Everybody forgets, but they do their work. Yeah. All right. So that was great. Now, what about Angela? So, um, I, ha so. If people need to get the pencil, like pencils, if they don't have any pencils, they go to this area in a room, like in the back of the room. And there's like this pencil thing. But when I noticed there was no pencils, um, it was a Monday. So I brought pencils that I never used into school and I put some in there for pe like the people who don't for the people in my class who don't ha like have a pencil to use if they like dropped theirs and couldn't find theirs. So that's how. Wow. Now before, uh, so, so on Monday you noticed that, and you're doing hybrid learning for now. I think that was two weeks ago. Okay. Well, you're doing hybrid learning for now, which means you go in school on Monday and Tuesday and you're virtual Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Mm -hmm. So on one Monday, you noticed that the spare pencil container that your friends use when they forget or drop their pencil or can't find their pencil was empty. Did you say anything to the teacher or did you just think did you just think to remember to bring pencils in? Remember to bring pencils in. And then you brought... Because, like, go ahead. I never used the pencils, so... Yeah, either. we have a whole bunch of pencils. Yeah, every single place in this house. Yeah. So we... So you brought the pencils in and you put them in there and then you told your teacher I filled up the pencil thing? Yeah. And she said... What did she say? She said... um. I was wondering who did that. <laughs> <laughs> and she gave you, and what did they call that? Um, they. What I was the, what I was the. I think th helping like classmates. Helping classmates and community. So why don't we talk about that today? We were going to talk about how to make big problems smaller, but since you got your high five sticker for how to care about your classmates and community, why don't we switch the topic this week? I know we already introduced it, but next week we can talk about how to make big problems smaller. What do you think? So rewind to the beginning of the episode. Hey, we got a really important show today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to talk about how to care about your classmates and your community. Good idea, yes. Ange. All right. Who's ready for the recess of the week sandwich? No. What are you going to do? You? All right. Pablo. Only, Pablo. <laughs> Only Pablo. All right. So let's <laughs> talk about that. Let's change the topic. You know why? Because we can. How about that? <laughs> we can change the topic, right? Mm -hmm. Even though we said at the beginning and everybody was probably. <laughs> yes. People are going to be so confused because when I put the show up, it's going to say how to care for your classmates and community. And then when they start hit play, we're going to talk about how to make big problems smaller. And then we're going to go back to how to care for your classmates and community. This is lesson number one in how not to plan a podcast. What do you think, Ange? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's okay. You know what? Pobody's nerfect, right, Ange? <laughs> Pobody? Pobody is nerfect. <laughs> what? Get it? Nobody's perfect. Yeah. <gasps> now I know. Hey, yo. Wait. Yep. Mm. Pobody's. Pobody's nerfect. Nobody's perfect. Do you know what he did there? Do you know I changed my initials to Pavlos's initials? Or wait. No. I changed. Yeah, I did. Nobody's perfect is NP, and I changed it to Pavlos Nikolos. Nick Paul to Pavlos Nikolos. His middle name. My middle name. <laughs> His middle name and my middle name. But wait. But wait. There's more. Did you know that you just switched the uh, first letters of each word? Yes. So that works on two levels. One, I I intentionally but made the mistake. I, I made it a mistake. And the message of nobody's perfect is all about being okay making mistakes. So- 
Pobody's nerfect. Uh, all right. So, Ange, that is such a great example of, first of all, it's a great example of your heart. You have the the most caring heart. And did you know that, oh, you did know because you walked in the background of, you know, mom and dad had a teacher's conference with your teacher? Mm-hmm. And she said, oh, and my. My teacher also told me the day. She said, I'm going to meet with your mom and dad. Yeah. And then she was telling other people um, about like they're going to have their thing soon. And were you worried that she was going to meet with mom and dad? Were you, no. were you thinking, oh, no, I'm going to no. get in trouble. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. She had so many nice things to say about you. She said, and you know what else she said? I was really proud of you. She said, and just so kind, she's such a great classmate. She works so hard. But you know one thing about Ange? She's like, when she's in class, sometimes she talks like a little mouse. And I can barely because hear her. Because <laughs> she has to wear a mask in class. And the mask's really thick, too. Yeah. And she said, I know she's got a big voice in there. I hear her on the podcast all the time. If I had a mask on, you could barely hear me right now. <laughs> yeah. So, Ange, when you're in class um, and your teacher says, Ange, can you come and turn in your homework? You should say, who's ready for Angela's homework? <laughs> <laughs> and you think your teacher will go, me! <laughs> what do you think? Good idea? <laughs> so, and then at lunchtime, you could say, who's ready for the <laughs> peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Uh, uh, that's Angela's favorite part at the end of the laugh track. Uh, we should uh, just cut everything else off. Just, uh, <laughs> we can record our own. Uh, okay. So, Ange, she was so, she's just so complimentary of you and said that when sometimes when you, when you have teams and someone or groups and someone doesn't have a group, you always say that they can join your group, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. That's so cool. That's so awesome, Ange. I'm so proud of you. So let's talk about how simple act like bringing in pencils can show you care for your classmates and care for your, not just your classmates and not just your community, but your teacher as well. Because how many things do you think your teacher has to remember every single day? A lot. A lot. To post to the things for the people who's at the house, at their houses. Yep. To remember to get (laughs) at on school, like at the school ad time, because for the people who's at school. Yeah. Because when you're home Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, to, yeah. other people are in school. Yeah. Remember to bring her um, computer. Yeah. So she can meet with the ki- people at home. Yeah. And a and whole bunch that. more. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch that you don't even know about that happened behind the scenes. Don't you think? Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, like stuff that. You know, when you see someone, when you watch someone on TV, like a sports star, and they're shooting three pointers or they're scoring goals or whatever. Oh, yeah, and also remember to bring some, like, supplies. Yeah. And and she sometimes probably doesn't notice when things uh, run out, like pencils, because she's got a hundred other things on her mind, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So one way that we can show our teachers that we care about them is really, really simple. Do you want to hear it? Just to do two things. The first one, one way we can show our teacher that we care about our teachers is just to do our work. So that way your teacher doesn't have to worry about you doing your work. And just like your friend who turned in her work while everyone else didn't, she was on a streak. And I, forgot. And forgot. Don't you think that your teacher really appreciated that your your friend is on a streak of turning it in every single time? hmm Yes. So- and then with Ange, when you noticed that the pencils were out and you had extra pencils, you came home, you got the extra pencils, and you brought them in, and your teacher... The next day, because I... Um, Ange, your mic's off. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. You can still hear me a little bit in my mic, I'm sure. I brought um, them in the next day because um, the school was closed by the time I got to my house. Yeah, so that's a very kind... Or there were still people there, but... Yeah, but that's okay. But that was a very was kind a gesture, not just for your classmates who needed pencils, not just um, for or not just for your classmates, but also for your teacher, because it took one thing off of her to do list. Don't you think? 
Mm-hmm. So did you, was that anything super complicated? Did you have to, how long did it take you to, to do that entire thing? Three seconds. Three seconds. You just grab the handful of pencils, stuck them in your bag. No, not a handful, like a new pack. You just grab the new pack of pencils, stuck them in your bag. And then when you got to class, you stuck the new pack or you opened it up. Did you open them up and stick them in there or did you stick the new pack in there? I just opened it up and then just let the pencils fly out. <laughs> you know, and it's funny, your teacher probably was looking at them, like you said, and she was wondering who did that. I remember one time when your mom, when we were living in New Jersey, I was working so much. I was working so many hours late at night and everything like that. So your mom would always empty the dishwasher. She would fill up the dishwasher and empty the dishwasher. She was home with you and Pavlos. And you one day- and you were wondering if it was me, Pavlos or her? Yeah. No, one day- um, I got home a little early or maybe your mom was in the shower or something like that. And I emptied the dishwasher. I didn't say anything. I sat down in, uh, I put all the dishes away. I sat down on the couch and I waited. I didn't say a thing to your mom or nothing. And she comes out of the shower or wherever she was. And she goes to empty the dishwasher because she's so used to emptying the dishwasher. She opened it up and the dishes were gone. What do you think she was thinking? What do you think she was thinking, Ange? <laughs> what are you trying to find? Oh. Nope. Find. Oh, no. Yes. No. The look on her face, I couldn't tell if she thought someone broke in the house and stole only the dishes from the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> or if she thought, <laughs> or I thought maybe she was thinking, am I crazy and I emptied them and I just forgot that I emptied the dishwasher? And then when you walked in. <laughs> and then she was looking, I swear the first thing in her mind, she had the face, oh my goodness, we've been robbed. We've been robbed. They stole our dishes. <laughs> they didn't steal the TV. They didn't steal anything else. They stole the dirty dishes. They stole the dishes. They were nice dishes. You never know. <laughs> what do you think? Dirty? Well, maybe someone cleaned them, came back. No, they were clean because she had washed them and I just emptied ah. them. And so just little things like that. You just help out. You take one little tiny chore. Like, and your mom's got some folded laundry downstairs, doesn't she? She folded them, right? Yeah. Some of those clothes are yours, don't you think? <laughs> some, oh, I did it over it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Some of those clothes are yours, don't you think? Don't you think maybe if you went and grabbed your clothes and put them away, your mom might appreciate that as well? Yeah, she's trying to find the button. 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 Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's cut it there because we're going on a half hour with dad. Which we should have something recorded that said, aw. Aw. Um, we're going on a half so, hour with dad. Because which, I don't want to stop. I know. Ange wants to keep going. But, but we, we also are going to do another one today, so. Yeah. Well, I it's think. past your bedtime, so maybe we won't do one today. But we can... Why don't we do one? It's an hour. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try to get ahead a few weeks. So that way, if I do get a cold or you get a cold or something like that, we'll have one in the can. Um, can? So in the can, it's a saying in the radio biz. You know how it is. We got one in the can. You know, we're in the radio biz. No. No. Okay. Um, so <laughs> we have. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> um, so we can record some. So that way, if we have to skip a week of recording, we don't skip a week of publishing right right Ange? yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so Ange, your mic's still off and <laughs> shuts her mic off and then forgets to turn back on <laughs> no i wanted to see it <laughs> work. well you, some, they could still hear a little bit of my mic but it's not as good so maybe we'll we'll try to instead of just just recording on sundays maybe for a few weeks we'll try and record um sunday mondays tuesdays and oh my Thursday, goodness we'll Friday, have a marathon Saturday. marathon if you eat your dinner real fast then we probably can, because all that extra time eating your chicken, we could record a whole other episode, don't you think, Ange? Uh, uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> busted, busted. I don't like chicken. What? <laughs> you like some chicken. No. Mind Some. Blown. Okay. It's not a lot. Okay. Oh. Ooh, here we go. All right. That should be our backtrack. You like that? All right. And that's when we go back to the beginning of the episode. All right. That's it for the most confusing episode of five minutes with dad. The episode about making big problems smaller. But then we said, nope, it's about caring for your community, your classmates. Care for your community, make a big problem smaller, then care for your community. That's right. So 
we want to encourage you just to look for opportunities to do little acts that help people out at school, at home, that can really make a big impact. And parents, if you want to check out Rebel Parenting, go to rebelparenting.org and you can connect with Ryan and Laura Dobson there. Don't forget to... What, Edge? Thank you for listening? Yeah. All right, let's just go there. <laughs> Thank you for listening We're rusty to 5 ends. Minutes with Dad. To connect with Pavlos, Angela, and Nick, subscribe to the 5 Minutes with Dad newsletter at 5minuteswithdad.com. Thank you for listening.